Hello, my name is Idom, and I'm gonna just show you guys what the new update contains. When you download it, it says it's 1.1, but on Gran Turismo it says it's 1.09, as you can see where my mouse is right here. Um, that doesn't really matter though. What does matter is all the cool stuff that they added. I already went and bought all the cars and checked out the scapes, but I can go back and show you guys what they are. I'm not gonna use them in this video just because I don't want it to be half an hour long, because it will be if I do that. But we have, might take a minute to load all the brands, but that's beside the point. We have a Raptor, which is pretty cool. This is almost the first car I bought. I was I was most excited about the Raptor, to be honest, because it's such a different and unique car into the game. And then that's all for Ford. And then we have a Chevrolet, which is a Corvette. It's a C3 Corvette convertible. You can see it right there. Uh, all these cars are fairly cheap, to be honest. The most expensive one was the Countach, you'll see in a minute. And they all come in different colors. This one I got in gold. I'm going to be making videos on all of these cars later. I'll probably do like two a day over the course of the next six days. I would just pump them all out at once, but that would take forever and I have work. So that's not going to happen, unfortunately. I'll, I'll I'll maybe do like three a day actually. I'm I might be out of town this weekend though for Christmas and stuff. So who knows if I'll be able to? Does have a new one? Let's see what. Oh, I think they just added a new showroom for Bugatti. I think that's all that is. Yeah, related scenes. That's all they added. We'll we'll check it out real quick actually. Since we're since we're here, we'll just check it out. See what's see what it's all about. I think it might be just this one, which is still cool. Oh no, there's multiple. That's pretty cool. Uh, this one's pretty awesome. I like that one. You can throw your Varen in there. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm talking to myself right now, honestly. Some Chirons. Maybe they'll add a Chiron. That'd be really cool. I'd like to see a Chiron. I think these ones might have actually already been in the game. Uh, this one was already in the game. I knew this one was in the game, but I don't remember any of the other ones. Not sure. Uh, yeah, no new cars for Bugatti, though. It just said there was a new one because of the escape scene. Uh, Volkswagen, we have the bus, which is shown right there. Also another really cool car, because it's just so unique. Here are all the colors, just classic colors on the Volkswagen bus. Same as you would see in Gran Turismo 6, and I think, yeah, it was in Gran Turismo 5 as well. And then you have uh, a Ferrari, two Ferraris, and a Lamborghini. See these real quick, the F40, the ever so legendary F40, very cool car, I already bought all of them, so I'll definitely have videos on them, so don't worry about that if you're iffy on which ones you want to buy, because they cost so much money, but to be honest, they're all fairly decently priced, so you don't really have to worry a whole lot about blowing all your money, like I was, I was surprised to see the F40 at 450000 which is not a bad price at all, uh, yep, and then the Enzo, Enzo is only 1 million, which is pretty average for the Enzo on Gran Turismo games. And then we have a KTM Crossbow. This car is really cool. It was in Gran Turismo 6. No one ever really used it though. It was never a really popular car, but it is definitely one of the cooler cars in Gran Turismo. Uh, only comes in one color, but there is the livery editor, so you can do whatever you please. Uh, pretty cool car. Uh, I don't remember if they're very quick or not. I'd imagine they are pretty quick, but... Who knows, we can always modify it later. And then, that's a, that's over half of them, holy crap. Uh, we have Nissans. These ones were the ones most people are excited for, obvious re obviously, for obvious reasons. The GTRs. Who doesn't love GTRs, though, to be honest? Uh, we have the R32 in all of their colors, my favorite being Sunset Red, which they, for some reason, call Red Pearl. Uh, nice colors on there. And then Millennium Jade is my favorite color on the R34. Everyone's going to choose Bayside Blue because it is the classic, though. Uh, yep, there we go. There's the R34. We've all seen it a trillion times before, so you don't really have to take a long look at that. And then the most boring car from up to this update is this piece of crap. The Suzuki Swift. No one really cares about it, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. Yep, there it is, and it's Econo Car Glory. No one really cares about it. And then, last but not least, is the Chevy Nova. I almost forget about this one, to be honest. Um, 
this one I'm driving right now. I haven't driven any of these yet, but I may in this video just drive one in uh, GT League, just to show you guys what GT League is all about. Only comes in one color for obvious reasons. It is a Sema car. Um, yep, purposely built for Sema, and then it won the awards at Sema in 2015, I think it was. I think that was a 2015 award car. And then they put it in the game. <clears throat> so there will be two more Sema cars. Can't remember what last year's was, but this year's is a Civic. I don't know when we'll be able to see those. I think last year's... What was that? It's on the tip of my tongue. I, for some reason, can't think of it. There's some scapes. They're not technically new scapes. They're old scapes that they put, like, Christmas lights and stuff on, I think. I don't... These two don't look familiar. This one... Uh, this one doesn't look too familiar either, but this one and this one I know were, for a fact, were old scapes that they just put lights and stuff in. They're pretty cool. Uh, this one is really nice, and these two are my favorites. These two right here. The one in Japan. Oh, I guess they're all in Japan. Oh, except Germany and Italy. Never mind. So this one and this one. Those are two of my favorites. This one just because it's so unique, I guess. It's just so different. And then this one, because it has all that lighting, you can make some really good, really good photos with the lighting. This one also has really amazing lighting. Uh, actually, I have pictures with them that I can show you right here. Here's one of them with, at the Mount Fuji location. And then here is the LaFerrari in that other Japan area. And then here's an Aston Martin in Germany. So pretty nice. I, I love the lighting on this one. That one's really nice. And then, last but not least, we have Campaign. Uh, I guess la not last but not least, but there's a one minor little detail that you could count as an addition. It's just Christmas music. They do it every single year, as well as Escapes. They also do that every year for Gran Turismo. And then they'll typically give you a gift card on Christmas when you log in. Um, it's never really anything special. It's random, I, I believe, but Christmas music, it's the same Christmas music you heard in Gran Turismo 6 and 5. They use the same Christmas music, which I'm not mad about. It's good music. And then the scapes, they always add Christmas lights and stuff, and sometimes snow to some of the maps. Or not maps, but uh, photo mode locations, or in this case, scapes. And for this, I'm just going to show you guys all of the challenges that you can do. And then I'll probably just do the Sunday Cup just because it's quick. It's I already did it once last night, but it didn't save because the online was down. Um, then we got the Beginner League, we got Sunday Cup, FF Challenge, Clio Cup, Mazda Roadsters Cup, and FR Challenge. Amateur League, we got the Club Clubman Cup, sorry, TT Taurus Trophy, so that's just Audi TT, Four Wheel Drive Challenge, Mazda Roadsters Cup again, Boxer Spirit, so that's going to be Subarus only. I wonder if Porsches, a race series for cars with horizontally opposed engines, enjoy their low center of gravity and bask in their unique sounds. I don't know if Porsches are going to be allowed in this one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Porsches. Okay. Yep, that's what I figured. Oh, and the Volkswagen. I forgot about that. Boxer. And then FR Challenge again. I've heard somebody complain that these races are way too easy. Like, they got to the professional league, and it was super easy. But, I don't know, that's not really that big of a deal to me. Um, it's more about winning for me. I, I mean, the challenge is another uh, feat in itself. But, as long as I can just win them, I don't really care a whole lot. It's still going to be fun to conquer all of them. Uh, I say that, but I haven't even completed campaign mode yet, or even got close to it. Midship challenge, so mid-engine... Premium Sports Lounge, a high-class race for supercars, hypercars, and premium cars. That's pretty cool. I, li I like those ones a lot. Endurance race, this one's pretty obvious. It's just going to be endurance races. Uh, offering the next dimension in terms of aerodynamics and performance and endurance race series for prototypes. That's pretty cool. Porsche Cup, I wonder how long these races are. Um, does it say? I don't think it says. Maybe I'm just blind and it does say it somewhere. No idea. That's weird. Okay, maybe this one says it. I don't think it does say it. 
wonder how many laps these are. Usually the endurance races are really long. I'm surprised there's not more, to be honest. They usually do like a 24-hour, 12-hour, like 2-hour, 6-hour. They're usually huge, like 100 laps and like 20 laps at Nürburgring and stuff like that. Um, I'm surprised there's not more of these. I'm sure they'll add more. I, I'm pretty sure they'll add more. Um, maybe the ones I'm talking about are already in the game. I don't know. I, I'll show you how far I've gotten. Driving school, I have gotten almost nowhere. I mean, this one I'm fairly far and I'm only an intermediate though. I just don't ever really care to because I have enough money and mileage points and all that and I have enough cars. I don't really need to. I could go for the trophies, but yeah, I am, I'm on stage three out of five or eight, eight. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Um, circuit experience. Oh, speaking of this, there is also a new track. I forgot about that. It's not going to be in here yet. Yeah, it's not in there yet. Um, time trial. I'm not going to go to the track. I'm just going to show you that it is there. Single race. It's nothing crazy. You really can't even consider it a new track, to be honest. Where is it? Um, I'm blind. Yep, here it is. Yamagawa and Miyabi mixed. So it's these two tracks put together. That's all it is. It's, like I said, it's nothing crazy. Uh, it is a nice track, though. I drove on it last night, and it's pretty nice to drive on. Um, but let's do a GT League race real quick, and I'll probably shut up for it. There's a few other things that I need to point out. There were some... I don't have details on them, but... There are some minor fixes and things. Some tracks were uh, adjusted. Some were, uh, or some cars were nerfed and buffed. I, I can't even find anything that shows what the update contains. Okay, never mind. Here, I found it. You guys can't see it on the screen, but I can see it for myself. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna read these real quick. Tracks, a new layout for the. Okay, yeah, I just showed that. Escapes, a new season greetings group. Uh, Brand Central, yep, yep, yep. A, a museum section has been added to Chevrolet too, apparently. We have added the Lewis Hamilton references. Okay, yeah, no one cares about that. Top 24 superstars. That's weird. In the FIA championships within sport mode, a top 24 superstars race will be held as the final round of each race season. That is super cool. That would be fun to watch. Uh, lobby added a new settings section under event settings, regulation settings. Physics simulation model. I did notice this. It seemed like there was a little bit difference in uh, simu or the physics. Track control while turning has been adjusted to allow smoother cornering. That's probably what I was feeling. Controller, the dual shock for motion sensor steering sensitivity has been adjusted. The steering requires less rotation. Maybe I'll try that out again. That drifting was horrible though. Buttons assignment. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. It is now possible to set throttle and brakes in the pos in the buttons assignments of the wireless steering controllers, which is nice because before it was fixed, you could only do like three different settings for it, but now you can choose whatever buttons you want. Sound, tire screeching, sounds have been adjusted. The, tire the sound balance of the Chaparral 2X has been adjusted. Okay, just... It's really just little things they've adjusted. It doesn't It doesn't say what cars they nerfed and buffed and what tracks they adjusted, but it is for sure that they did. Um, so I'm going to stop talking now, and I'm just going to go ahead and sign out. Uh, peace out. I'm going to show the gameplay of the Clubman Cup right now. <laughs>